What's the diagnosis on this CTKUB? Let's go through the case. This is a scan done without IV contrast looking for kidney stones. If there's an obstructing stone, you're looking for hydronephrosis and the renal pelvis dilates up like this case over here. In our case, there's no dilatation and we can see normal renal sinus fat. If we follow the left ureter here in front of the psoas muscle, we can see there's no calculus within it. Don't worry about these things at the bottom here, these are just phleboliths. Commonly we see other diagnoses on CTKUV scans, namely appendicitis and diverticulitis. So to find these we're going to have to trace the bowel. First we'll start with rectum and go up the sigmoid colon. These are just diverticuli, the fat around them is clean, this isn't diverticulitis. So could this be appendicitis? Well, to find this, we're going to have to go all the way back and find the appendix. Here we've got the descending colon going into splenic flexure. This then goes into the transverse colon. If we follow that across, this will then go into descending colon and the cecum. This is the terminal ileum coming in. We can recognise the ileocecal valve by this fat density over here. And this over here is the appendix. Have a look at this separate case and here you can see the appendix is normal. It measures less than 7 millimetres and it's got gas locules within. In our case the appendix is bigger than that and it's full of fluid with all of the surrounding fat stranding. This all tells us this is appendicitis. Once you've seen that look for any surrounding fluid collections and also put it on lung windows looking for any free gas. That isn't the case here, this is just uncomplicated appendicitis. So the lesson here is to check the appendix on any acute abdominal CT that you look at.